Can we send data from Jira to external app using listener post function whenever status is changed? Now this interesting question is asked by Surya and let me first read the question. So Surya is asking about using a listener or a post function, I need to send data issue key description from Jira to external app when the status is changed to ready for sprint. So the first thing he is asking about is uh, sending some data from Jira to another tool using a transition, workflow transition, post function basically. And also he is asking also Jira should read the response from external app. Issue key needs subtask and add subtask for a story. How can this be achieved? Now I will talk about two things. The first thing that I will talk talk about is called as uh, webhooks. So if you are logged in and if you go to your uh, admin section, so basically you need to go to system and then you need to go to webhooks. So webhooks is exactly what you need and uh, you can always uh, take a look at this documentation. There is a link. If you click on the link, you will be taken to the Atlassian website the official documentation where you can find a lot about what you can all do, what all you can do with the webhooks. But let me just create a one. So let us say you create a webhook where you want to send something to a different tool maybe. You can define the URL and you can add some description. And you can also um, specify here uh, some events. So let us say you want uh, some events that will uh, or that can trigger this uh, this particular uh, webhook. And don't worry about uh, the details here. You can always read the documentation to know in case you're new to Jira. In case you have experience working on Jira as an administrator, you can easily figure out what all these things mean. But if but if in case you don't, just try it out and read the documentation. Now you also have some project related events and uh, you basically have different events that you can uh, choose. Now what you need to do, you can basically create this uh, webhook and that is it. Now the good thing about webhooks uh, is that you can also trigger them from a workflow transition. So let us modify one of the workflow. So I'll probably find uh, one workflow in my Jira instance that I can maybe modify and I, I, will, I just want to show you how it works and I think it will give you a very good start hopefully. So let us select uh, one of the transition here in the workflow. Let me click on the edit to modify the workflow and then uh, we can basically add a post function in uh, the in the transition. So let us say you want to do something when uh, you move the issue to selected for development. So there is a post function. When you click on it, you will get a list of all the post functions in your current transition, but you can add your own. So let us add a post function. And uh, there is a there is an option called trigger a webhook. So you can uh, click on the add and you can select the webhook that you configured earlier. So basically this particular webhook, uh, let me just uh, show you the the description. It says, uh, if the post function is executed, Jira will post the issue content in JSON format to the URL specified. So this is what you need, Surya. You need to basically configure, the, co configure this webhook and use it in the post function. The second thing that uh, Surya wanted to know is about uh, Jira should read the response from external app. Issue key needs subtask and add subtask for a story. Now there are a couple of ways of doing it. You can always use Jira's REST API. And by the way, we are talking about sending something outside Jira using a post function or a listener. So if you want to do it using a script runner, you can do that. Why not? Because using a script runner listener, you can also configure this uh, yourself and you can uh, write a script to basically send the, uh, basically 
talk to some external service and when you see when you receive a resp response of that rest uh, i mean when you when you make a rest call you receive a response and based on the response you can do something so you can always write a script for doing that um, using script enough for jira and you can configure it in the listener now you can also write something outside jira so in case the other tool uh, wants so in case you want to write the the script in your other tool using some script uh, you can always use jira's own rest api but you can also use uh, script runner's uh, custom rest endpoint so you can always go to script runner configuration and create a rest endpoint the good thing about rest endpoint is that it will let you do a lot more so let us say you want to um expose one uh, one endpoint but maybe you want to add your own logic maybe you want to create multiple subtasks or maybe you want to create uh, uh, or maybe you have some some specific requirements that cannot be really met using uh, the jira's native rest api so, so you can always use scriptner because when you are using scriptner you can uh, talk to jira using the jira jira's java api so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much